Welcome to our lecture online, and now we're going to talk about what we call the half angle formulas. What is the sine, the cosine, the tangent of a half angle equal to in terms of something of the whole angle? Well, here's the equation, or here's the identity. It shows that the sine of x over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of x divided by 2. So where did that come from? Well, we're actually going to use something we just proved in the previous couple of videos. We've shown in the previous video the reduction formula. We showed that the sine square of x is equal to uh, 1 minus the cosine of 2x divided by 2. So what we can do here is we can take the square root of both sides. If we do, we take the square root of the sine square of x. That should equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of 2x divided by 2. Of course, we use plus or minus because when you multiply two negative numbers, you get a positive number again. And so that means that the sine of x, therefore, is equal to the plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of 2x divided by 2. Now if we make a substitution, now if we say, well, let x equal to a divided by 2. If we do that, we get the sine of a divided by 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of 2 times a divided by 2, all divided by 2, and of course this cancels out that, which means that the sine of a half angle is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus the cosine of a divided by 2, which means we've converted something of a half angle, the sine of a half angle, to something with a whole angle, in this case the cosine of a whole angle, which is exactly what we have over there. So that's where that comes from. That's how we got the half angle formula for the sine of x over 2.